Today we're going to create a over the shoulder space kind of shot right after the intro. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the third episode of Hit Film Wednesdays. I know I haven't made one uh, in a while, but I'm back with a new episode. Now today I'm going to edit a shot uh, which I recorded in yesterday's vlog. So if you haven't seen that, uh, go check it out. The link is in the description or in the end card. So uh, I think we should jump right in into Hit Film Express. So I start off with a simple clip I shot in front of my green screen. I dragged it onto the media pool in HitFilm Express 2017 and after that I right clicked it and made it into a composite shot. I clicked off the beginning and then I went to the composite shot properties and I changed the length of the shot to 3 seconds so now we have a short clip to work with. Now that we have the clip we'll go on with the green screen. Now my green screen didn't fit the entire shot so I had to mask it out. Now with the green screen only clip done, I'm adding a key. It could use a green screen key, but I found out that it interfered with my shirt collar. So I chose the color difference key instead and I tweaked some settings. I was completely happy with the way that the edge turned out, so I added a matte cleaner. I tweaked some settings there as well to get rid of the green edge. With the green screen stuff finished, we'll go on with the window. The window was actually just an asset which I had found on Google, so that was easy. But I didn't want a static image in the window, so I went to vidavo.net and I found a nice clip of the earth. I made a circular mask and hit film on the window layer and I inverted it. I also changed the feather of the edge so that it looks a bit nicer. Now I added my clip of the earth under it. We're basically done here, but to make the illusion of depth better, I added a blur to the initial footage. I tried the lens blur, but as you can see on this clip here, that messes up the edge. So I decided to go with a normal blur set to around 7.5 pixels. I only just added a letterbox to find out the position uh, of the frame, but it's not meant for exporting. In the final cut, I'll actually add a letterbox effect over all of the clips. That's also why I didn't do any color grading yet. I'll just do that in the final cut. So I hope you enjoyed this short episode of Hit Film Wednesdays. I'll see you guys next week Saturday with a video about working with multi-cam uh, sequences. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Hello everybody, I hope you liked the video. Now click the top box to see my newest video and click the box below to see a highlighted one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next week Saturday with a new video.